polythene bag or the caveda is often used to carry groceries after shopping. And some people recycle these bags, sometimes to carry other groceries but also to cover their food. In Kampala, a new trend is emerging, that of some homes and restaurants substituting banana leaves to cover their food with the polythene bags. When you cover food in polythene, it remains warm throughout the day. When you use banana leaves, the food is not as soft as it is when you use polythene. The Makere University College of Agriculture and Biosystems Engineering is undertaking a study on wrapping food in polythene bags. The cavera, the, the, the technical term is it's a polymer. A polymer is when you get what they call monomers and you add them together to make a polymer. So if you have two monomers or more, then you get a polymer. Now, uh, in uh, Uganda, it's what they call cavera. Now, the cavera, when you, the process of making the polymer, you use compounds or binding compounds and unslip agents. Unslip agents, such that the cavera is easily, you know, peeled over, peeled one, one by one. So those chemicals that they use to make the polymer are what, in a technical language, it's what they call carcinogenic compounds. Carcinogenic means they are cancer causing. The research has also established that the bags contain heavy metals which are released into the food when heated. They contain lead, they contain, lead is a heavy metal, uh, they contain cadmium, which is also a heavy metal and cobalt which is also a heavy metal. When you heat food in a cavera, these heavy metals migrate from the cavera to the food. So basically, and this happens at a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius, normally around there or above that, those are the cooking or warming temperatures we have in homes, in restaurants, in hotels. Professor Banada says that when the metal components in the polythene enter the food, it changes color, and this cannot be seen by the naked eye. It is visible only under a microscope. He says the longer the food is heated in a polythene, the more chemicals are absorbed into it. I eat food at noon and then another person eats food at 3 p.m. The person who eats food neighboring the cavera at 3 p.m. eats more of the metals than me who ate at noon. Banada wants that continuous consumption of food cooked in polythene bags could be dangerous to one's health. There are levels when you eat it below at that level or below, it is okay. It's not, it's not so much of a disaster. But then when you eat at a level higher than the recommended on a daily basis, okay, that is what the, causes a problem. Health experts have warned that using polythene bags to cook food could result into serious health problems. But although this is so, so many people are still ignorant about what could possibly arise out of using polythene bags to cook food. To uphold hygiene and sanitation in the city, the Kampala Capital City Authority is now moving to sensitize and prosecute people found cooking food in polythene bags. Certainly we know that our people are in the city to make money, but we also mind very much about the health of uh, the people who eat the food. That is, that is cooked. What we are now considering, having sensitized them and also the surveys and inspections that we have done, we will uh, start prosecuting people. The authority is also warning roadside food vendors against wrapping hot food in polythene bags. Gertrude Tumusime Uitkwari, NTV.